right, so I want to wrap this whole scan series up with uh, just something I want to show you that you may or may not already know. It's really uh, helpful to you know, say you're on the scan tab here, and you know you can you can pull up scans by going over to this load scan query and and going to personal and choosing which scan you want, and then you know pressing the scan button and uh, waiting for the scan to populate, and then trying to remember the ticker symbols and going over to the chart and typing in the names on the chart and then going back to the scan tab and looking at the scan results or you can go down here to the bottom left hand corner where it says show gadgets you can click that little thing and expand this uh, area so I've got live news and I've got this one uh, gadget showing showing futures and I'm going to change this to personal so you can go through here and you can say, okay, I want earnings with weeklies. And it's going to populate your earnings with weeklies. So the way I would utilize this personally is I wouldn't even go to the charts. I'd go to the trade tab and I'd roll through all these different um, you know, names on this list and see if there's any potential uh, IV differential opportunities. And you know, based on the first two I looked at, these are names that reported this morning because, as you can see, the weekly volume is lower than the rest of the or the weekly implied volatility is lower than the rest. Uh, so that's going to be how you kind of weed out the names that have already reported that are still showing up on this list. And you, know, you can keep on rolling through. And we know that that QIHU is a name that you would eventually stumbled on and said, whoa, we've got some serious uh, implied volatility here in the March March 1 weeklies that expire tomorrow. Uh, we've got 171.5% versus April at around 70%, you know, 69.37. So that's a pretty significant, uh, you know, pretty significant uh, IV differential. Then you can take that over to the chart, say, check it out and see, okay, now it has an IV percentile of 80. So we've got an IV differential of about two and a half, IV percentile of 80. This sucker has been going crazy to the upside. You know, maybe there's an opportunity to build a strangle. You can see here I already have looked into that. I, I looked into that before the market closed, uh, building a strangle. Would have worked out well based on what I'm seeing after hours. Um, so anyway, you can do that and then you can manually roll through here and look at personal and say you want to roll down and check out your uh, speculative one list that we looked at. You can choose that one and it'll populate all the names on this list. And instead of having to go back and forth from the scan tab and looking at the names, so let's just kind of do a compar comparison here. We'll pull up the same list and we'll hit scan. And it's going to scan for this speculative list that's already populated over here on the left. And you can see it's it's in a different order because um, it should be in the same order. Now it looks like it's in a little different order for some reason. I'm not sure exactly why. But usually it puts it in the proper order. Oh, I see why. You might have to hit the symbol button a couple times. So if you hit it three times, You'll see now it's in order of implied volatility. So both these lists match. So implied volatility percentile order now. Um, so you, instead of having to go back and forth from the scan tab to the chart tab, you can just sit here on the chart tab and you can go Russ. You know, how's that puppy look? Okay, how does BIS look? And I think there's also a way that you can, I'm not sure that there's a way that you can like just kind of num roll down here, the click on one of these and arrow down. If, you set it up a specific way. I know it used to work in profit charts. I'm not sure if it works in TOS charts or not. Um, you know, and another thing you can do is you can just kind of click these arrows and just arrow through your different list, and they'll eventually populate. You know, you can see so you can just arrow through every single one of your list. So you have the option to individually choose which list you want, or arrow through all your different lists here, and they'll eventually populate. So um, it's just really handy feature to expedite the you know scanning process and to you know fully utilize and, and maximize the potential of these uh, scan filters that you've created uh, or that we've created in this series and of course you know hopefully I've shown you enough I know I didn't show you a whole lot of variety but hopefully I've shown you how to utilize the scan tool enough to where maybe you can go out and create some cool scans and um, you know share them with me you know via YouTube comments or you know share them with your friends or you know just keep them to yourself and benefit from them 
So all in all, I hope this was a successful and uh, beneficial series for you, and, and it was uh, valuable for you to uh, take your time to watch it. I appreciate you staying with me, and uh, I wish you the best in your trading future. Take care. Signing off. Nick Fenton, founder of TickerTank.com. Talk to you later.